This is the portable adding machine. It was designed by Glenn J. Barrett. He'd already designed another adding machine, the Barrett adding machine, but after he'd finished with that, he came up with this one. He designed it in about 1923 or so, and had it manufactured in the factory of the Corona uh, typewriter company. That company made a small portable typewriter and was perfect for making this machine. He set up the portable adding machine company to uh, market and sell the machine. It didn't take that long, however, before the uh, close ties to the Corona typewriter company uh, caused it to be rebranded the Corona adding machine. And yeah, it was developed further and further, and its uh, versions of this machine were in production until the 1960s. The machine was renamed the Corona adding machine in 1925, so it was only just over a year that it was called the Portable. So this machine must have come from 1924 or the beginning of 1925. In order to make this machine as cheap as possible to manufacture, a lot of clever simplifications were made in its design. The bottom row of the keyboard are actual zeros, not just column clearing buttons because if you enter a number that includes zeros, you do actually have to press these buttons, because otherwise they don't get printed. For example, if I enter 4 with lots of zeros after it, that all gets printed, but if I just enter a 4 and nothing else, Those intermediate zeros do not get printed. Only the two digits after the decimal points get printed, but those are always printed automatically. But any intermediate zeros that you haven't actually typed, just, uh, yeah, just are not printed at all. That's because only the columns that have a, a number pressed will be printed in the number. The printing mechanism is greatly simplified. Both the ink ribbon spools are mounted on the same side so that the ribbon has to be threaded through here. But that allows the uh, advancements of the ink ribbon to be all, all compact in the same unit here. And this is not connected to any other mechanism. It simply gets triggered when the paper roll uh, moves past it as it presses into the ribbon itself. This lever changes the direction of travel of the ink ribbon. This switch is thrown automatically when the feeler here or here senses that the ink ribbon is running low. This button is the non-print button. If you enter a number and lock this down, it gets added but not printed. The printing mechanism doesn't move. This button is the non-add button. If you lock that down, the number will be printed but not added to the register. This is a total button. If you press that, a subtotal is printed. If you combine this with the non-add button, then the register will be cleared. So then this is a total button. With this button, you can clear the keyboard 
or you can set it to repeat to allow repeated addition. This disables the automatic clearing of the keyboard with every pull of the lever. Here you can see that the subtotals and the totals have all the digits printed, so including leading zeros. The non-add uh, numbers have a small uh, point or dash at the end, as do the uh, totals. Subtotals don't. That was the portable adding machine. Thank you for watching.